Hi, in this video we will talk about database links in Oracle database. So what is database link? So it is a database object which is created to establish connection between remote databases. Let's say you have one database uh, named as testdb and another remote database which is located in any remote location that's name is Ora 11G. So to communicate with Ora 11G from your test database, you need a DB link. Okay, so you need to create a DB link in your test DB server so that it can fetch a remote database object. Okay, so for this, uh, we need to create a setup. So we need a source DB where we will create the DB link and we will need a remote database which will be accessed via this DB link so in my case I am using a Windows DB 11.204 named as test DB and uh, I am using a remote DB Ora 11G which is 12.1 running on Linux uh, we need to ensure some points before proceeding further db connections should be compatible with each other means you need to uh, follow the compatibility matrix provided by oracle that means uh, as you know you cannot connect uh, oracle 19c databases from 9i because they are not compatible with each other so you need to maintain uh, those compatibility issue so that's why i'm using source db 11.204 and remote db 12.1 because 11.204 and 12.1 connections are compatible with each other remote server must be accessible from source db that means you can able to ping the remote server and dns ping the remote server and the last point is remote db listener must be running because you are uh, you are going to access remote server so it is mandatory that uh, the listener should be up in a remote server otherwise how you can access okay for this you need uh, two privileges to create database link if you are trying to create private database link you need create database link system privilege or if you want to create public database link so you need create public database link system privilege in your database so uh, we will not use uh, sys user for this setup because uh, sys has all the privilege so you will not get any errors so we will create a uh, new database user for this activity so that uh, you can understand this in better way okay so this is my windows db Yeah, test db here i will create the uh, db link so first i need to create user and provide some access i am giving both access because i will show you uh, how to create private db link as well as the public db links missing great okay on a remote db we need to create a remote uh, user which will be used inside the db link you can use your existing users of your remote database but i will create a new user so this is my remote server we need to ensure that listener is running Okay, my listener is running. I will cross check by pinging the host name or IP. This is the IP of my remote server. I will ping from my Windows server whether it is accessible or not. Sorry. <coughs> 
Okay, ping is working fine. I will try with TNS ping. It is also working fine. I will try with OAT and data wrestling. It will also work. Okay, so my remote server is accessible from my sourcer. Now we can proceed. Okay, so I will create a remote database user. I will create a username dblink user for better identification. I will give just some basic access. Okay. <coughs> now, you can check with this query all your existing database links. It will show all the data DB links here, public and private. So, go to source DB. So here I have right now one DB link and uh, you see it is pointing to my remote server. So I had created a one DB link before. Okay. So now there are two types of DB links. One is private DB link and other one is public DB link. So private DB link is exclusively owned by its owner let's say I am a uh, user test and I am creating a private DB link so only I can use this private DB link no other user in the database can uh, use the DB link to access remote server objects okay and the other one is public DB link as the name suggests by using public DB links suppose you have created the DB link so you will be able to access the remote objects using this DB link uh, as well as other users can also be able to use this DB link that's why it is named as public DB links okay so we will create both DB links and check how they works so there are two methods for both the DB link creation the method one is simple and easily manageable we use TNS entry here of remote DB server and this entry is uh, done in the TNS names.ora file and the second method is directly put the complete description in the using parameter so these both have their different ad advantages like in method 1 suppose uh, for some reason you have modified the port of your remote database listener so if you had created the db link using first method so you need to just modify in your tns names.ora where you have given all this description after that your db link will work fine but let's say you had created using second method so in that case you need to modify the database link okay using ultra command or you need to drop this db link and recreate the db link so both have their different advantages by using second method you need to ma you don't need to maintain tns names or okay so it's totally on you on which method you are uh, comfortable i will show you both the methods so first i will create uh, private db link you should keep name uh, as per your comfort suppose i i am creating here db link which is pointing from test 2 or 11g and it is private so i have, have given such name okay here you need to give connect to here you need to mention the remote database user which we have created earlier and the password okay and here the tns entry so here I didn't made any TNS entry so I will create a TNS entry so first I will make TNS entry for my remote server it is simple trick just type TNS ping IP port and then database name it will return you the TNS entry just 
copy this okay and open the dns names.ora file so it is inside my admin folder i will just run dns names.ora yeah here i will make entry for my remote server uh, i will name this as um oral mg okay save it close now cross check by tns pin command okay it is working so now this is my tns entry i will use this in my dblink creation script so here you just put this tns entry yeah okay so let's proceed with first method these are for private dblink okay so copy connected uh, created we will create the second one also created okay now you can check the db links created or not yeah you see you have two db links created okay so you see here owner is says so wherever you find user uh, owner other than public so you can easily say that these are private db links and uh, right now if you check user so currently i am connected with sys uh, by the way we should uh, we actually we had actually planned to create db link with our custom user but i forgot no issue so uh, i have created using sys user so if i try to access remote db objects using this db links when i am connected with sys user it will work so i will copy this db link name and i will simply run name of mode from video database if i am running this query so it will return the records from my current database it is test db but if you need to access a remote db you need to mention at the rate then db link name after any table name or view or any db object name then oracle will understand that you want to access remote database object okay now hit enter you see now it is showing db name or 11g so by this way you can access your remote database object okay so i will check this db link also whether it is working or not yeah my both db links is working now try to connect with other user and run this query again so we had created a user um ksh now try to run this queries what you will get okay it simply gave an error why because these are private db links and my current user is not uh, finding any db links okay so i think the concept of private db link is clear to you now we will create public db links and see how it works so the syntax is totally same you just need to put public before the database value uh, before the database command so create public database link and rest all will be the same i have just given the name pbl to identify it is public so i will create the first one 
this one I am creating uh, with KSH user ok ok both are created remember I have created with KSH user but the owner will not be KSH in this case because these are public to even so we will check again the status you see I have created these two devlings but owner is public so owner shows that whether it is private devlings or public devlings ok so with any user if you are creating private devlings so that name will be shown here will be visible here ok so let's try to uh, test the public devlink working test the other one yeah both are working try to connect with other user uh, I have uh, HR user here yeah. yeah here also working yeah so I think the concept of public and private dibbling is uh, clear to you now so one more time we can recall uh, if you are creating private database link so only the owner can be able to use uh, this TV link and uh, if you are creating public database link so every user in your database will be able to uh, use this TV link to access remote TV objects ok and uh, that's why we prefer to create private DB links in our production server because we want to create DB links for a specific user for a specific application only we don't want to uh, create a pr a public DB link in our production server because everyone will then use uh, that DB link so thank you for watching hope uh, this video clears your all uh, doubts uh, and helps you to better understand about Oracle database links. Thank you.